In the previous lecture, we learned how to declare name and assign information or value to variable, and also how to assign new value to variable. Remember, variables hold values that can change. Once you declare a variable and assign it a value, our program can control what's stored in the variables as it runs, like the number of likes and comments of the post in a blog site, for example. You can use variables to do many different things with the values stored in or assigned to them. Let's say we have a variable called likes. It holds number of likes of each post, let's say zero. As I mentioned earlier that you can change what's inside a variable through reassignment like this. Logging likes to the console shows that the value of likes is now 1000. Well, when we change the value of variable like this, we are actually overriding the value every time rather than keeping track of total number of likes. Let's assume that you are programming a blog site and wanted to keep track of total number of likes of each post. And most importantly, instead of overriding the value of number of likes each time, you most likely want to keep adding to the total number of likes. In simple words, instead of completely replacing what's inside the labeled box with something else, we want to add to the current contents of the box. One way to add to the current number of likes is like this. likes equal likes plus thousands. This statement might look a bit strange for you because the variable likes appears twice in the statement. So how does this work? Remember, when storing a value into variable, the content on the right of the equal sign goes into the variable on the left. In this case, what's on the right is the current contents of the variable likes. The sum of the two values is placed back into the variable likes. Since likes currently equals zero, it's just like saying likes equal zero plus thousand. The idea of accessing a variable to update a variable still might seem a bit strange, but it's really common in programming to update a variable based on its current value. In fact, it's so common that there's a shorthand method for adding to the current contents of a variable. Replace this part here the plus and equal sign. This is called an addition assignment operator and you'll see it a lot in JavaScript. To increase the likes by a certain number, you can use the addition assignment operator to add to its current value. For example, since the value of likes was 1000, I added 100 and now the total number of likes is 1100. You can also add variables representing number values together. For example, create a new variable commons with the value 200. I can add the current likes and comments value like this. We are now adding the current value of likes and comments and saving the sum of those values to another variable called total reaction. Log total reaction to the console. And the result is 1300.